um, was then the co-director of the Kemp Child Protection Team at Children's Hospital. Um, I became uh, a contractor for the FBI to train primarily in Indian country in 2001 and then became a full-time employee at the FBI for um, protecting children as a licensed clinical social worker. Um, I have been amazed at the work that this task force and the people um, in the communities that we work for, um, tribal communities, native communities, at the work that is being done with the very few resources that are available. And I think the message that I continue to provide to our um, agents, to our tribal officers, to our child protection workers out in the field is that we continue to do more with less, but that we are absolutely not going to lower our standards or our expectations um, because of where we are and what we do in those communities. Um, and I think that the passion that drives the work is really from the heart, and it's really about protecting children um, because there is no greater resource than our children, and we have to continue to expect more from the people that are there and to, to expect more, um, I think, nationally and globally for our, our children, our Native children and communities. So thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank you. A great job. Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. I am the uh, Southeast Region Agent in Charge for the Bureau of Indian Affairs Office of Justice Services Branch of Criminal Investigations. Uh, I'm in my 34th year of law enforcement. Um, I currently office in Oklahoma. I, I think the key takeaway I got from our work was that uh, we were looking at an organization that was operating on a different uh, model than any other organization I've ever been associated with or looked at, that they actually were delegating the responsibility, um, management responsibility to the absolute lowest level uh, without training the lowest level uh, in management training. Um, the lack of training in reporting and no national standards, I think, was the, the biggest takeaway for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A great job. So uh, those were our task force members, and there's two that were unable to join us today. One was Dr. Caitlin Hall. Uh, Dr. Hall actually works for IHS. She's a pediatrician, and uh, she works at the DZ clinic that, that we visited. So she was unable to join today because she's out working today, uh, actually testing uh, children, I, I believe, at, at a school uh, on or near the, the Navajo Nation. Uh, also, Farnoosh Marion, who works for the Office of Management and Budget. Uh, they both provided wonderful expertise and insights uh, to help us understand as we developed recommendations uh, what it is, uh, how those might fit into the current structure, but following the president's direction as well uh, as, uh, I like to say, our, a fixer in chief, uh, how it is that we could be bold with, with some of our ideas and truly deliver a better healthcare product, but also uh, protect citizens, uh, citizens and children in, in particular. So you've heard we have law enforcement, mm -hmm. We have a child forensic interviewer. We had a career prosecutor. And so much of this uh, would not have been possible were it not for the great efforts of, of Kurt Muller. And I, I want to introduce him uh, because Kurt, while not a member of our task force, was a really important contributor to it. Uh, Kurt uh, was or is uh, an investigator, a special agent with the Health and Human Services Office of the Inspector General. And the two trials that I mentioned earlier of Dr. Weber uh, it is Kurt who was the lead investigator that assisted in uh, the prosecutions of, of Dr. Weber. So Kurt, if you would, take a minute and just uh, tell us what it is that you learned from your investigation uh, and you know, the role, as you know, that you played that was so important to our task force. Thank you and good morning, First Lady. Appreciate you hosting us here at the White House today. And U.S. Attorney Shores, thank you for having me today and the, the great work we've been able to do with the task force and support the task force. I've got approximately 30 years of law enforcement experience, 10 years 
working state government in the last 20 years with, with uh, the U.S. Department of Health in the Office of Inspector General and currently the special agent in charge of the Kansas City region, which has the states that we spoke about, Montana and South Dakota, uh, in this case. I've worked with the Indian Health Service. We've done cases with oversight over the Indian Health Service for the last 20 years that I've been present. And we've been able to flush a lot of these things out during this task force that goes to lack of reporting and the